Welcome to In 5 Minutes, the major drawback of dynamic circuits that the inputs have to be monotonically rising. If not, you see that the functionality is not achieved correctly. So in order to solve this problem, what we do is, if there are two dynamic circuits which are connected in cascade, let's take an example of NAND again, which are operating on the same clock. So this output is going to trigger this guy, this will call it as W, another input. This is my phi, I'm sorry, just give me a second, this is not my input. It is my input but it's my phi input, correct? So this phi and this phi are nothing but the same. So what's going to happen is here, if you just can visualize, what's going to happen is when phi is equal to 0, P1 will be on and so would be N1 and both the respective outputs, let's call this output as VI, uh, sorry, uh, let's call this output as VO and this is my out output. So out would be VDD and so would be VO which is also equal to VDD. So everything is fine. In pre-charge phase, there's no problem. But if it's an evaluate phase, phi equal to 1. And if my A is 1 and B is 1, that means what's going to happen is A1, B1, phi is 1. So this transistor is on, phi is 1 and most on is on. A is 1 and B is 1. So both of these are on and output can be discharged to ground. Now this output goes to this input, which is nothing but now 0. And if this becomes a zero, and this supposedly was a one, and the phi is now one, so this is on, there's no path for this circuit to discharge. And here we know that because A and B were initially one, in the next cycle, if when we are still in the evaluation phase, if A turns to, stays to one and B changes to zero, output ideally for an AND should come down to one, but output out, cannot go to 1 so it will stay at 0 and because it stays at 0 this circuit will never be able to turn itself on unless and until it goes in the pre-charge phase. So a dynamic circuit cannot be cascaded with a dyna dynamic circuit directly. Cannot be cascaded with a dynamics, dynamic circuit directly because of the problem of monotonically rising input condition. So what do we do is, after every dynamic circuit, we add a static inverter. Let's see what does this do. This is my NAND again. And I'm going to connect this output to a static CMOS inverter, static circuits we have already studied. And this block now can drive, this is dynamic NAND plus static inverter. Together this is called domino circuits. Domino circuit or a domino NAND. Sorry, domino AND, I beg your pardon there. Domino AND. Now this block can drive or this output can drive a dynamic circuit because it will ensure that the monotonically rising conditions are satisfied. So similarly, we can make a domino NOR as well. Let's quickly do that. So we know the expression for NOR is y equal to a plus b the whole bar. Yes. So for dynamic circuits, we know that hide the bar, pull down, pull up, it's nothing but a PMOS, NMOS, it's nothing but my dynamic 
circuit dynamic nor we saw the problem of monotonicity so this needs to be followed by a static inverter this is the input which is the same as this output and this is nothing but static inverter this together becomes your domino or if you are smart enough you'll understand that in domino circuits we can prepare inverting gates but what about non-inverting gates so in order to understand that stay tuned for further lectures i hope you have understood what is a domino circuit and what are the drawbacks or what is one of the drawback of dynamic circuit there are a lot more other problems which we'll see in future clips like charge sharing and charge leakage thank you and stay tuned